Thanks for rolling up. To what Mario certified pilot. Uh, let me smoke, bro. Oh. Yeah, smoke, bro. Let's just, let's just go. Well, this November, voters in Colorado Springs will have the chance to legalize recreational marijuana. Today, the citizen led advocacy group. Colorado Springs. Where's Colorado Springs at? Is that that's not in Colorado? It must not be in Colorado because they already got wrecked in Colorado. But your choice, Colorado Springs, learned that they have qualified to place a pair of initiatives on a special municipal ballot this November. Carrio News Channel 13's Mallory Anderson is live from Maggie's Farm in Manitou Springs with what those measures would mean for Colorado Springs. Mallory. Maggie's Farm is one of the only places within a 30 minute drive where people can buy marijuana without a medical card. Ten years. I don't understand this. Is it says right here we say cannabis in Colorado. Colorado Springs. We we know that Colorado got wrecked. What's what's happening? Years after it was legalized statewide, Colorado Springs is now closer than it has ever been to having recreational as an option. And okay, I think I know what we got happening. If we see these uh, states go wreck, um, uh, a lot of states opt out to sell initially. So, so. So, so you may be in a state with wreck, but your town or the or the adjacent towns right around you don't sell weed, you don't have a wreck or none of that shit. So, so if you're looking for a dispensary, you gotta drive thirty minutes through through like four different towns and shit to be able to get to some spots and shit. Um, I guess that might have been what happened in Colorado Springs. And while the campaign manager of this effort tells me this is great progress, the mayor of Colorado Springs still strongly disagrees. Legalizing recreational marijuana and taxing that pot 5% are two measures officially on the November ballot for the first time. Nearly 100,000 petition signatures were collected, even though Your Choice Colorado Springs really only needed around 19,000. So we have two. Hold on. Let's just say 20. They needed 20,000 and they got 100,000. That means the motherfuckers of Colorado Springs, bruh, is really trying to have some wreck there, bruh. Yeah, that means people showed up to sign up. That means that means that they really want that shit. Two initiatives that are going to appear on the ballot. The first one is to end the prohibition of recreational sales. The second one is to place a 5% special tax on it that will go towards improving public safety, providing additional programs for mental health services, and then providing PTSD programming for our veterans. But not every... Uh, trying to just say this money is going to do this, 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 and this is, is weird because it typically never happens that way. What you do is you just put that shit in a special fund that, that can be tapped in from different, different areas. Everyone is on board with the idea. Colorado Springs Mayor John Souther is sending a statement to KRDO that reads in part in cities with. That's, 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 that's. That's that's the nigga who's against this shit. It looked like a square, bro. Recreational marijuana, it's not paying for the full cost of the damage it's doing. Denver, in particular, offers a cautionary tale. In three years, it has dropped from number two to number 55 in the U.S. News and World Report rankings for best city to live. Oh, no, so saying what? Saying what? The since since Colorado went uh went wrecked that uh no nobody wants to live there now. That, that ain't that ain't true. The pervasive influence of marijuana is a significant factor. Southers also brings up how all 115 medical marijuana shops in Colorado Springs would start offering recreational weed if the measure passes. 
Right. So, so what's the issue? Only the 115 cannabis stores that currently are allowed to sell medical will be the only dispensaries allowed to sell rec. To put that into comparison, right now there's almost five times as many liquor stores in Colorado Springs. You're tr Did he just hit him with the uh with the mic drop on that? Yo, motherfuckers is saying saying there's a hundred hundred weed stores, but there's five hundred liquor stores. Are you want to complain? Damn, bro. Choice Colorado Springs estimates recreational weed would bring in fifteen million dollars a year in tax revenue for mental health resources and public safety. But that yeah, so there's no reason to even fucking now I mean be uh be 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 playing the fuck around. That's revenue the mayor believes comes at the cost of a safe and vibrant community. Your Choice Colorado Springs says their next step is to start door knocking to explain their measures and also make sure that people are registered to vote in November. But from what we've already seen from the mayor, it seems as though this group will probably have a very strong campaign against their push over the next couple of months. Reporting in Manitou Springs, Mallory Anderson, KRDO News. This is this that's whack, bro. Yeah, that's whack, bro. Um, they they the fact that they in Colorado Springs, one hundred thousand people showed up to sign this petition means that they they want this shit, bro. Yeah, they want that shit, bro. And if this um, and if this uh mayor is able to like veto that shit that, that's going that's going to suck bro that's going to suck all the way bro yeah i don't like that nope